Hi, this is Dr. Kathy with Pet Pals TV. Today I'd like to talk to you about two scary kitty diseases, feline leukemia and feline immunodeficiency virus, which is also known as feline AIDS. Cats like Buster, when they are adults and test negative, may have been negative their whole life, may always be negative, or may have been infected as kittens, not test so that when, if we do a blood test, it says no, no infection, and then someday, five or six years from now, all of a sudden Buster becomes sick, and we take a test, and he has infection with feline leukemia. These viruses are very tricky and have been hard for us to figure out. If kittens are infected with either feline leukemia or feline AIDS, and they become ill, the chances of them surviving are actually pretty poor. However, again, if the virus hides in the body, it's like herpes in humans. It can hide in the body and then come out 40 years later in humans, five or six years later in cats. And where a human would have shingles, a cat could have feline leukemia infection. Those cats are at high risk that any time they get sick, not being able to fight off the infection. And so as caregivers, we have to give them extra protection know what their status is. Now there are lots of people who have cats who are positive for feline AIDS. Just like human AIDS, you have to have exchange of body fluids. So bites, cuts, biting, that sort of thing is how it can be transmitted between indoor house cats. Otherwise, I've had clients who've had cats positive for feline AIDS and they've lived for 15 years to a nice old kitty age. So, do more research about feline leukemia. Do some questioning. Look around and see what information is there. They're very difficult viruses to find, very difficult to fight off, and because they're viruses, we really don't have good treatment. If your cat's positive, then let's do everything we can to give it great quality of life so it can fight off the infection. If you have questions about feline leukemia, feline AIDS, or anything else, contact me, Dr. Kathy, at PetPalsTV.com. Thank you.